Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Shudwani once again from learnhyperinformation.com. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can generate a lure report with Playwright. In our previous lectures, we have seen, right, the moment you run your Playwright test, you get one standard HTML report from Playwright. Now, basically, Playwright have multiple reporters, which I will show you. But what we are going to see today, we are going to generate one earlier report, which is the advanced report. So if you go to Google search for earlier report and open any of this report. Just a minute. Yeah. So you can see this is an earlier report example. This is just an image which I am showing you, but we will generate the same report now in this video. Again, no need to write code here. We have to do a basic configuration. We have to install one earlier report package and we can generate this kind of report. This is advanced report where you can see trends, charts, categories, environment details and overall percentage. How much is the success ratio? Okay. So we'll see this kind of report now. And uh, before we jump into LO report, I want to talk about the default report which comes by default with Playwright. Okay. So right now, if you notice, if you go to my test folder, I have a couple of spec files. So let me run all the spec files so that we should get a uh, we should get a report. And once you understand this basic reporter, I will show you some other reporters as well. In future, if you want other reporter, you should be able to do that with the help of basic configuration. So let me write this npx playwright test. Basically, we are running all the tests directly from the command line. So the moment you say playwright test, it will detect all the spec files and it will execute all of them. See, it executed all our 10 test cases and this is the default report we're getting. So if you click on all, it is showing you all the spec files which has executed. So if you notice here, total five spec files. And if you come back here, total five spec files. For this one, one failed, remaining two skipped. Similarly for this, this one is failed. This one is success, this one is success, and this one is success. If you click on pass, these are the passed spec files along with the test cases. Two failed and two skipped. So these two are skipped one, these two are failed one. So let's say if you click on failed one, it will again show you two options. What is the error? Why it is failing? It is not able to find this particular web driver after 10 seconds. And which step is failing? The same step. How Playwright is generating this report? So let me stop this by using Control C and type clear. Now if you open this config file, playwright.config.js file, and if you come down, you will find reporter HTML. So basically it's using a default HTML reporter and it is able to generate report. Along with this, they have many uh, reporters. Okay, so now if you open this, this is the reporter section, this is the official documentation of Playwright. Introduction, Playwright comes with few built-in reporters and these are the built-in reporters list reporter, line reporter, dot reporter and this is the HTML reporter by default which is taking from your configuration file. Okay, so if you want to go with list reporter, either you can mention while running your test or you can mention in your configuration file. Similarly, let's say you want line reporter, either you pass from command line or mention in your configuration file. If you come down here, custom reporters, in case if you want to create a custom reporter, you can do that. And this is third party reporter. So depends on the requirement, you can go with the third party reporter. What we are going to discuss today is Allure. So if you open this, we just need to install this. Okay, so we just need to execute this command. It will install this Allure Playwright package. And then we have to do some basic configuration and we are good to go. So copy this command npm hyphen 
D D for save dependencies I for install if you want to write install you can write install otherwise you shortcut I same hyphen D if you don't want to use hyphen capital D you can write hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev dependency or hyphen dev so I will copy this come back to visual code so this is my working directory which is playwright video I am using terminal directly from VS code but let's say if you are using Windows you can do the same thing from command prompt and if you are using Mac you can use terminal. Right now this is what my package.json file looks like. Right now I have playwright test and types node. The moment you hit enter it will take some time. It will take few seconds if it is able to install it's fine otherwise if you come across this issue called your cache folder contains root owned files due to a bug in the previous version of npm so they have already given a fix okay how you can do this otherwise you can just type sudo npm then type cache clean it will try to clean the cache and you can add one more flag called force forcefully it will clean the cache hit enter since you are running sudo command it will ask for the password now it has cleared clear it once again and hit this command again again if you come across this issue as you can see it says if you believe this might be a permission issue and as you can see here it says it does not have permission so you can add sudo here first okay and then copy the same command again and this time hit enter and now you can see it has added this dev dependency see sometimes these issues that you're getting okay try to read what kind of issues are getting and then try to fix it the first one was the cache so we cleaned the cache then we executed it was giving the permission issue so we just added sudo and the command and now we can see we have allure playwright dev dependencies now once you are done go back to this documentation now you have two options either you can go to the playwright configuration file and change the reporter to allure playwright it means for every test it will not use the HTML it will use allure playwright but let's say you want multiple reporter you can create one array and you can mention multiple reporters for example you need line reporter allure playwright reporter plus you need HTML reporter you can mention all of them but let's say you want for this particular scenario only you want to use allure playwright then while running from CLI you can add hyphen hyphen reporter equal to a lower playwright so let me copy this and add this this time I just need a lower playwright so I will remove this line reporter I am only interested in a lower playwright execute see by default it's running all in headless mode okay so if you go back to my previous videos you will notice that when you don't mention anything it runs headless but let's say you want in a headed mode and in a specific browser you can mention from the CLI so if you are completely new to playwright I would recommend go back to my previous videos where we discussed and now you will see a folder called allure results so it is having the result and if you see this is the result in JSON format if we don't have HTML report this contains all the results so if you're getting this results we are almost done now go back to the documentation now once you have the results now it's time to generate a lure report so you can use a lure generate and this will be the folder name so you can give any name okay hyphen no a lure report and in case it has previous one it will clean so in our case this is the directory which is nothing but allure result right so instead of giving my allure result i will just pass allure result 
So I will copy this and paste here and let's make few changes. We want to generate a lure report and our results are available in which folder? Allure results folder. Output we need in this folder which is Allure report and we are using one more flag called hyphen hyphen clean. The moment you execute this, reports generated successfully to Allure report. And this is the folder we got, right? Inside this folder, you look for HTML. And if you want, you can reveal in Finder. Let me open this. So when you open this manually, this is how your Allure report will look like. Okay. So you have to run one more com uh, command called Allure open and Allure report. So let's use the final command. And starting the web server. So this is how your alert report will look like. So first of all, it says total 10 test cases, 6 pass, 2 skipped, 1 broken and 1 failed. And while running our playwright test, we are running only on Chromium, right? So it says sweet Chromium. In case if you have Firefox, Electron, uh, Edge, then it will show you accordingly. If I click on show all, you can see all the spec files, right? If I click on it, two test passed, one passed, three passed. This one is the skipped one, right? And this one's the failed one. If you click on the failed one, it will show you what is the error, severity, duration, parameters, test body, and so on. So this is the overall page, which is overview. This is the category. Then you have suite, which I just now showed you. Apart from this, you have a graph. It will show you the duration, CVRT status, the total timeline, behaviors. Okay, so out of 10, what is the total behavior? And this is the packages. Now, if I go back and if I show you, let's say I want to see the screenshot, which we don't have right now, but this is a default expectation that whenever the test failed, we need the screenshot, right? So that we can identify what went wrong with our application. If it is application issue, definitely we have to raise a bug. But if it is some scripting issue or some sync issues or any issues from our side, we have to fix it. Now come back here. Now if you want to stop the server, you can press Ctrl C and you're done. So let me repeat, first of all, you need to install this particular package. During this, we found two issues. So first clear the cache, then you have to run with sudo in case if you don't have that user does not have permission. Then we discuss while running the test, if you want to pass directly from the command line, just add hyphen hyphen reporter equal to uh, which package you want to use. In our case, we want to use Allure Playwright. Then we have seen how to generate. So you can give the folder name where the results are available, which is your folder where you want to generate the report. And do you want the previous reports to be clean or not? Once it is done, you can open the Allure report. Now I will show you that in case if you want to make this as a global changes, that all your Playwright tests should use Allure Playwright. So in that case, we'll go to this configuration file. So come back. Open this configuration file. Right now we have only one reporter. So use array. And this should be Allure Playwright. And again, this you have to add in bracket. That's all. So now by default for whatever test you will be running from CLI, it will generate HTML report along with Allure Playwright. Now if you come down, 
we don't have many options right but let's say i want to attach a screenshot for any failure we can make a small change in the configuration so come back to this use it's a shared setting for all the projects right now we have only traces so apart from traces you can say screenshots and you can now decide how do you want a screenshot do you want a screenshot on for every single test do you want to keep it off or only for failure i would recommend keep only for failures so that in case test case fails then only capture the screenshot playwright have very interesting feature called video as well so let's say you want the video as well you can get the videos and again we have on off first retry retain on failure retry with video so i will say retain on failure if any failure retain this video and if you want on you can on for each and every test so anyways i showed you this only on failure let me enable this video for each and every test save this and now instead of mentioning from cli since we have mentioned in our configuration file that use html and allure playwright both no need to mention here execute your test now you can see since my test is getting failed it captured the screenshot and it captured the video as well so this is the default report which is coming right and if you see video is already available for each and every test because i mentioned video on for each and every test but if you want only for failures it's up to you so this is the default html report what we are interested is this one right so once you are done again execute this command again i will change instead of my allow result i will say allow generate allow result output directory allow report it's taking some time report successfully generated the last one open allow report Now if you go back open this failed one so first of all you can see the screenshot and now with this screenshot you can easily identify what went wrong actually why it failed because we were expecting total count 6 we found 13 and you can see previously when i designed this test i was expecting 6 check boxes now it has 13 obviously it should fail and it failed we got the screenshot plus we have a video as well so if you open this video only one second video because it's a very small test but the main concept was to show you that how you can generate report and we are able to generate successfully now these three commands which we are running right first run the test then generate the report and then open the report if you want you can create a batch file or you can create a shell script which will run these two commands for you and in case we are using any ci server you can also use this command to generate report okay that's all from my side i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this video was helpful if yes then do support this channel share this video and this channel with others those who are into automation and planning to learn different automation tool if you come across any issue during this let me know i will try my best to provide all the support whatever links i have referred i will give in the description so in case if you want to quickly refer these links you can go ahead and try the same so thank you so much guys and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take